Well, transactions made with debit cards have overtaken cash for the first time, making it the number one form of payment. Almost 43% of all retail transactions are made with debit cards. Half of all people don't even use cash anymore, relying entirely on their plastic fantastic. Now, experts say cash is only going to get less common as the cost of processing card payments will continue to rise. So let's get our Pulse guest take on this and joining us this afternoon on The Pulse, Carmen Braidwood from 96FM and TV legend John Burjo Burgess. Hi there guys. Yeah, hi Amy. Hi, hello. <laughs> now Carmen. Look is at this, us. Oh, look, is this officially <laughs> the end of cash? Are we yeah. saying goodbye to that hard stuff? Uru, cash. Uh, I haven't had cash in my purse, much to the chagrin of my colleagues at work for a long time. You know when there's a whip around, you know, Emmy's mm. having a last day, she's going off to do her next thing or she's having a baby or whatever's happening. You're like, I'll pay you later. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll get around to that. Or there's a, the office sweep for The Bachelor. I don't know. Sorry. Sorry, no. Moncho. Um, you know, Ninja anything. Warrior. Ninja Warrior sweep. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, I'm the one who's never got cash on me and I have to make that special trip to the bank or, or to go and buy something, you know. Mm. So. Well, you just, go on, on, you just go on your phone app, don't you? And just, like, you know, get me, give me your FPOS details oh, oh and just gosh. send it that oh, way. That, that's getting really <laughs> complex. No. So. <laughs> you young people. <laughs> no, there's a lot of that. What's, what's your BSB and account number? Or I'll flick it through. There's so many other ways to do it now. I can see the benefit of carrying cash, though. I'd probably spend a lot less money. Burjo, you look like the kind of bloke who still carries around a bit of a water cash. <laughs> oh, you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm delighted it's a cashless society because now I've got an excuse for not having any. Uh, <laughs> I, I must admit, I do carry uh, uh, not a lot of money, but uh, just a bit of money. But for things that Carmen mentioned, you know, the things about what Because you care. A noise ahead of me <laughs> when you're standing in a line uh, waiting for a drink or something like that or some food and and it's three dollars twenty and someone passes their card over you know and they've got to tap it and then they get the receipt and you send there you just give them the right money most of the time Sorry, so Berger. that uh, but it is easy just to tap like a lot of coffee shops I they'll just know. they'll just want you to tap instead well the bank wants you to do it because every time you do that it costs you money yeah, so yeah. I mean that's that's the real reason we're heading towards a cashless society so mm. the banks can uh, make more dollars not that they don't make enough already mm. no I don't think we can stop that though can we not at all no not at all no, no. My my bank manager is quite unique actually. He buys me lotto tickets in case I win so mm. I can sort of get back to square. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very nice man. He'd just like to see his dollars back. <laughs> I think so. Hey, moving on guys, and it's been revealed how much money, speaking of money, oh. you should uh, need to be considered rich these days. It's $5.3 million. That's according to a new survey which found Aussies no longer believe being a millionaire is enough. Mm. You now need to be a multi-millionaire to qualify as wealthy. So, Burjo, how much would you need, do you think, in the bank to feel wealthy? Uh, about four times that, probably. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I expected you to just, like, you know, tap your hands. Oh, job done then. See you later, Emmy. I'm all done. <laughs> no, so I'm going back to that cashless society thing. Then my bank account looks about the same thing. But... Uh, Look, um, uh, times are changing, of course, you know, and you've got a, a plan ahead. I'm not too sure if you need to have, you know, $5 million or nearly $6 million in the bank to consider yourself well off. I think, uh, you know, people with a million bucks in their bank heading to retirement age is plenty. Uh, I think it all depends, honest. perhaps, if you've paid off your home or not. Like, obviously, if you're trying to buy a sure. home in Sydney, a million dollars isn't going to get you very far. Now, the study also found men wouldn't feel rich until they had... 5.9 mil in the bank, while women, mm. they're happier with 4.8 mil. So, Carmen, oh. I think these, these <laughs> figures are pretty specific. What do you, what do you, what would be, oh. what would make you happy? I mean, I'd be delighted if I could save $1,000 right now. You know, <laughs> look at our property market in Perth. If you, mm. if you're a young person who's started working in the, even in the last 10 to 15 years, you had no chance you've really battled to buy a home that's close enough to your work. Uh, You'll so have to look at a unit, I think. Yeah, really. units, uh, you know, the mm. way to go. Uh, close to the city and the older homes, you know, if you can afford to get in there, you're still looking at a good chunk of a million dollars to get into that market. So if we, we're counting wealth on being millionaires, then a lot of people in Perth are probably technically including their property, mm. actually ah, millionaires, yeah, yeah. you know, and couples, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, look, yeah. I'd like I to know. say uh, this, it doesn't matter how much money you've got, if you haven't got your health, 
you've got nothing. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Very yeah. true. The other new thing is time, right, Emmy? Yeah. Apparently you're wealthy now if you have heaps of time on your hands, so you've got enough money mm. in the bank just to take time and, you know, hang around coffee shops like Burjo does. Oh, we rich. don't have much time because I want to get through one more thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, look, oh, finally, no. guys, a distillery oh. in California is playing the likes of Michael Jackson and Led Zeppelin to whiskey, hoping the good vibrations will actually enhance the flavour. Now, the songs have been playing for three years on repeat and when you put it to a blind taste test the music barrels keep winning over the rest so Carmen can you I don't know do you think this actually works um, I'm gonna get this. Uh, did it work with prisoners in Guantanamo I don't know uh, I don't sure think they played this. Led Zeppelin though <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I, I, I feel like this could be a, a publicity ploy. I mm. think that it might be a way to charge more. Led Zeppelin whiskey is suddenly more Sound expensive than, I don't know, your One Direction whiskey, and so they can put, <laughs> get away with charging more. I doubt it actually works. Would you, no. Berjo, would you listen to any music while you're sort of having a, a, a quaff of wine or having well, some whiskey? In the beginning. What, <laughs> <laughs> well, what music would you want with well, your booze? No, I mean, after I have one red, two red, three reds, and then the music becomes you know, incidental. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, oh, look, I don't know if this is, I think it's just a ploy, to be quite mm. honest with you. Well, Led Zeppelin, what's Stay Away to Heaven, wasn't it? Uh, you know, just be careful you don't fall down them after you've had a few whiskeys, I suppose. That's, maybe I know, that's the that, those, you know, we might get an ear worm and then you'll just sort of be thinking about it over and over. Oh, an we? earworm? Nothing worse yeah. than an earworm, Virgil. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's yeah. an earworm? Well, Carmen will have to explain it all later because that's all the time we have for today, guys. <laughs> you always say that to me. As as it, I, know, I know I'm done when you start to shake your head at stuff I've said. I know, go, I know. Get him off, get him off. Oh, Virgil, Carmen, thanks for your time this afternoon. Thank you. Good idea.